Hi, my name is Aaron and this is video four in my series going towards um, my gastric sleeve on the 14th of um, March 2018. Now, I'm here to share my startup diet. I've, uh, I've spoken about it, but this time I'm uh, going to put it on online so you can actually read it and I want to talk about it in a bit more detail. Okay, so at the end of this video, you're going to be able to see my exact diet that I'm on with minor tweaks, minor tweaks. Um, first thing is um, I've been on my diet officially today uh, is um, eight days. I've been on the diet eight days and statistically, I haven't cheated, I haven't eaten anything sweet, I haven't eaten anything I'm hypothetically not supposed to eat. Um, I have uh, changed minor servings around and, uh, and either way you'll see my diet at the end and I want to explain to you how I have officially just lost 5.7 kilos in it's actually eight days. Um, first thing I, I, I want to make sure we understand that I weigh myself at the same time in the morning before I uh, organize my kids, I'm a single dad, so I look after my own children. Um, before I take them to school, um, I always go to the toilet, number one and two. I don't drink anything when I first wake up. And uh, after that, I weigh myself and uh, get an accurate weight. Now, a couple of things to keep because I'm obviously vlogging and I want to keep things accurate. A couple of things I have bought myself to assist. Um, the first thing is a Fitbit Aria 2 okay which is a smart scale which allows me to keep up to date on my phones and uh, share exact weights and charts and a few other things area two um, the other thing i've bought is the 1700 watt uh neutral bullet which is not the the little ones you know um, you'll see this cup here this is a um the smallest out of the cups you know it literally makes two to three liters on some of those cups it's more of a blender than a Neutral bullet, what they claim to be. Anyway, so my diet, all right, um, 5.6 kilo, 5.7 kilos in actually day eight. I know I said day seven. Um, I uh, just want to go through. Now, the first thing uh, my diet says is you're allowed to have, you have an optifast alone when in the morning. Now, I don't eat anything until I'm hungry, just to be clear. I don't eat at a particular time. I go and do my kids' school. I work. I don't have a set lunch. I don't have a set smoker. I'm not a nine to five job. I pretty much do my activities in various places all the day, and some days I'm on the road. So they want you in between meals, all right? They want you to have a breakfast, a lunch, a dinner and then it's one snack in between all of them, which I'll talk about. Now, they in the paperwork at the end, you'll see they want to, you to have a Optifast or equivalent product um, three times a day. Three Optifast or equivalent products, three times a day, you'll have to have two meals twice a day with meat and uh, salad or vegetables. You're also allowed to have a punnet of strawberries um, or a half punter of blackberries or uh, blueberries in between meals. Um, the most important thing is to, um, I've never eaten that many meals a day, so I uh, just make sure I have access uh, to foodstuffs on the go, all right? Um, and I'll explain that in a bit later. Um, the first thing I did when I started all this is take taste out of the first two days Everything I ate didn't have any flavor attached to it. I was eating, um, I was deliberately eating cherry tomatoes just to get that my taste shock senses out, you know, and uh, it's actually worked well. Now they want you to have an OptiFast for breakfast. They also want you to have a punnet of strawberries or berries or salad or just something standalone for smoko and if, uh, in between lunch. So what I've done to make it all a bit easier is come up with about a cup of berries, berries, um, Boost I find is one of the best because it has strawberries, a lot of it, so there's a lot of strawberries in here, blackberries, uh, blueberries and raspberry, these are eight bucks a packet at Woolworths, so cheaper than most of the other ones I found for a full kilo, that'll last me maybe two days, um, I put a cup Cup, actually I put a little bit more of a cup, I, I, I put a bit bigger serving because this is more than just one meal. Um, I put one Optifast in there. I put a half cup and a bit of ice in it. And I use cold water 
and probably more than the uh, 200, uh, probably, probably about 300 or so, um, maybe 300 uh, ml of water, maybe even a little bit more than that. And there's, I stick in my little Nutribullet, and this thing will keep me going till nearly after lunch. So this has my breakfast I need, this has my smoko I need, and it'll see me through to lunch, which I can have later in the day. All right. Okay. And there you go. That's a liter of extremely low calorie everything. And I don't eat, I don't swallow this down. I put my breakfast off as late as I can, which to me is about maybe 10 o'clock, 9, 10 o'clock or later. And um, I, will, I will have this over a span of an hour, maybe even an hour and a bit. Because I'm on camera. Everything's melted down a little bit, but that would normally be a bit more icy than this, which means I get an hour out of it. So, yeah. that's been my lifesaver. And then I'll stop me eating till after lunch. Oh, when I walk out of the house, I walk out with one of these, and I have these Pro Slim, which is cheaper than the OptiFast, probably nearly half the price. Uh, it's like a muesli bar, very, very sweet if you're into, you like your sweet stuff. Got to try these uh, caramel or cookies and cream Pro Slims. Ah, oh, chocolate fixes all the way, and they're pretty tasty. They're not they're, they're not too fake at all. Anyway, those two out of the house, and uh, that'll see you through to more than lunchtime. More than lunchtime. All right, so that's basically it. I work a little bit in coffee shops as an online uh, person, so um, uh, usually where I am within reason, um, I will then uh, if I'm not cooking food here, I will have. A piece of fish, a garden salad. Um, I'm not allowed any pro, uh, any uh, carbs. There is no corns. There is no beetroot. There is no breads. There is no rices. There's none of that. Okay. So I will normally have um, fish on a garden salad. Um, big on cherry tomatoes, even though I don't actually like them. Um, cherry tomatoes are excellent. Very important. Have them handy. So just in case you get a hunger pain at all. One, two, three of them goes away for about an hour, all right, or three tomatoes. So that's basically at lunch, normal serving, 100 grams. I actually have a little bit more meat than I'm supposed to because I don't eat my teas and coffees, which means no milk products. I don't cook with oil, which means no oil products. Uh, I, um, there's probably about two or three other things that are on the menu that I don't eat as well. So I actually make my servings of meat just a little bit bigger. Probably instead of 100 grams, I do about maybe 150 or so. All right, um, so that'll take you through to, to, to well after lunch. And at that point, you will then get access to another one of these if you really enjoy it. Otherwise, because you're allowed three shakes a day, otherwise uh, you have your punnet of strawberries or fruits or just a salad, something that you can just pick away or just to get something in your stomach so it's churning. All right, now that keeps you through to late afternoon. And then you're up to your second meal. Now that's simple stuff for me. I was hungry before, so I ate most of it. This is just... Uh, Oh, frozen stir-fry, frozen-based uh, vegetables um, without the corn. Um, I cook chickens or even a bit of cut-up diced steak or something. Soy sauce. I'm only cooking with soy sauce at the moment. Um, the taste hasn't really... That's nah, fine. I'm, I'm pretty happy with this. The kids are even enjoying this sort of stuff. So, um, something less than that big. Yummo. I'll keep it going for dinner time. And through all of that, you're allowed your salads at night, or your fruits at night. Um, or, if you're lucky, you haven't eaten one of your muesli bars yet, and you can eat that at night time. And that's it, go to bed. I only time I've had been hungry is when 
I've been on the road excessively. Prime example, with the kids up the north coast, driving back to Brisbane, uh, driving back, and uh, kids were getting hungry. I was getting hunger pains. I did. I had to, I ate all my muesli bars. Had nothing else on me. Didn't have me little cherry tomatoes to keep me going in between. Had to stop. Kids went and got their beefy pies. I went and got Subway. Oh, it's the worst. Subway, Subway does not have any low fat dressings. Started adding dressings a couple of days ago. Has no low fat dressings whatsoever. All the people don't know that they've got low fat dressings. I don't know what it is. You need at least fat free or 99% fat free. They don't know. Terrible. So I ate, picture here, one of their salads they throw together and their chickens. And let's be honest, if you don't have sauce on that thing, it is tasteless. Absol the, the, the vegetables, I don't know if it was unlucky. It was, it was nothing like eating my stuff downstairs at all. Um, the chicken, tasteless. It was terrible. Uh, um, the other things I do when I cook my, my foods like this, which is tasty, is um, I keep a bag of, um, lately, broccoli, cat, uh, like shaved, um, um, grated, grated, split broccoli, carrot. Um, oh shit! What else is in it? There's a couple other things in it, all approved. And I get a I get a handful of kale and lettuce, and boom! I get a handful of that broccoli stuff, boom! And at that point, I will have some corned beef cut to the side. I'll have a piece of steak uh, cut to the side, or chicken cut to the side, or on top. And lately, I have been I, I was using balsamic vinegar alone, which takes a bit to get down. Um, I've changed over to a balsamic dressing, which I assume has a lot more oil in it, but it says fat-free. Uh, while I'm losing weight, I won't really change. Um, I've also bought a low-fat coleslaw dressing or mayo I don't you I use that every second or third day I don't eat that on many meals at all because I know there's other stuff in it that's really not good anyway that's basically it and to tap it all off this is all because in three weeks or in two and a half two weeks from now I go in and get my gastric sleeve surgery where I lose 80% of my stomach and I have an extremely big inflamed fatty liver that I have to shrink down. I need to shrink it down to get it out of the way so they can do their surgery. So, um, other than my Nutri Bullet and my Fitbit, I have not done any exercise whatsoever outside my daily <laughs> stuff, which is a bit slack, but um, that's what you're here for. So, um, I have my berries. This is a lifesaver. Get yourself one of these. These are, these are off the charts, man. Berries, up to smart, ice, and uh, water. And that is a one and a bit hour meal. Keep you going, and you're full. You really, really, there's nothing wrong with that. Eight bucks a kilo for that. These are worth about two or three hundred dollars uh, if you can find them. This is a 1700 watt. Obviously, any big mixer will do it. Um, a small neutral bullet won't get you this much fluid, which uh, is what I considered my lifesaver. So the uh, the um, I'm going to put up the uh, menus now. So I'll give you about uh, 30 seconds or so for each page of my menu and uh, what you can and can eat. Um, stay off cut no carbs, zero carbs. Forget that. And as much as this is about losing my size of my liver, I believe you can live on this stuff. And I believe you can lose what I'm going to lose just on this stuff. I'm only a week and a bit in, and I know that's going to slow down, but let's be honest, five and a half kilo, and it's not water. I'm drinking three liters a day, at minimum, three to four liters of water a day because I need to wash out. I have water in my system all the time. Um, I am regular, going to the toilet, regular, once a day, two to three times a day on this food. Um, my fat... I used to have solid fat, now it's getting rubbery, so I'm obviously shrinking down, I'm getting rubbery fat now, moving fat, instead of solid bloated fat. Um, 
and I can feel I feel a lot healthier. I feel all around a lot healthier. Now, I'm hoping this video, uh, some of you has made it this far. Please check this, um, please subscribe and see my journey. This is uh, video five. Uh, my surgery is in two weeks, and I thank you for watching, and I um, hope you um, best health and follow the path. Thank you very much, and have a good night.